Okay, so guys, today uh, I'm Akshay Gupta, and today we are going to see how we can launch an EC2 machine over AWS. Okay, just need to go to EC2. You need to log into your account first of all, then you need to go to EC2. So it's a virtual machine which we are going to launch today. Again, you will end up on such a page. Either you can click on this instance running or you can click on your left side which says instances. Okay, you could be in any particular region. It will not make any kind of difference. Just keep it default. Now launch instances. So this is your free tier eligible. There will not be charges for the same. So you have just use this particular free tier eligible account or AMI and t2.micro fine. Just keep it default here. Also, you don't have to make any changes or just only ensure that this auto assign public IP need to be enabled either here or this. Okay, you just take care of that. You don't have to disable it because if you don't have a public IP, your machine will not be getting connected to your to the internet. Now add the storage. Now if you're adding the storage, you can add like you just keep it default for now. Configure security group. Now you can put HTTP. Now when you're putting this HTTP, just keep it like this. You don't have to make any other changes. Okay, if you're using Jenkins also, just put uh, custom TCP. If you want to use Jenkins, and use 8080. Okay, so this is something you need to do when you are using Jenkins. Review and launch, and let's launch it. Now there is no key pair. Just create a new key pair. So if you are, if you have, like, you need to create a new key pair only for now. Okay, if you have a key pair, you need to ensure that it's being there. In, it should be there. That particular file need to be there, saved somewhere in your machine. Otherwise, you will not be able to access your machine if you don't have a key pair. Now, just say, let me just put my name here, Akshar key pair. And let me download this key pair. So if I keep download this, it will come something like this. Now, here, when you look at it, this view instances will come up and you will see the, the pending state. So I will just put the name here, let's say Linux machine. And let me save it. Okay, it's gone. Let me put Linux machine again. Okay, let me just put Linux only. Yes, it's running up and running. Now how you can access your machine. Okay, the main thing is how you can access your machine. For the same, you need to go to Google. Okay, and you need to search MOVA X term. Okay, this is something you need to search. Now here is a software. Okay, there is a software which you need to the home edition which you need to download. When you click on this download now, just download this portable edition. That's fine. Just download this portable edition and you are good to go. After you download it, you will find it this in your uh, zip file would be downloaded. Just extract.exe file. I already have this exe file, so I would be using that. Now, when you extract this exe file, okay, you will extract, when you extract this file, you will end up on this particular page. Just ignore this as of now. Yes, you will end up on this particular page. Now, what you are going to do here is you need you are going to click on this sessions. When you click on this sessions, you need to go and click on this SSH. You first need to go to sessions and then you need to click on this SSH. Now, if you're using Windows, you need to select RDB. But for now, we have selected the Windows machine. So I would be selecting this SSH for now. Now, coming back to the system here, you can just copy this public IP. Paste your public IP. Specify the username EC2 user. Okay, advanced settings, use a private key and select your private key. Let's go to the desktop. Okay, where is my download? Just a second. It is there in my downloads. Yes, Akshat key pair and let me save it. So basically I have selected this particular key pair, which I have created while creating my machine. Okay, the end step was to create a key pair, right? So that key pair only I have selected it here. Now you need to click on, okay, you don't have to make any kind of changes and you have successfully logged in in your machine. Now this is how you log in with your, in your EC2 machine, EC2 Linux machine. And this sudo su is a command which you need to take care of. Sudo su, you have to, this is the first command for each and every machine. So just take care of this particular command and you're ready to go. Okay, so this is how you launch an uh, Linux machine. So that's all from Akshat this side. Guys, thank you. Thank you for your time. And uh, I hope that this particular lecture is useful for you. Thank you.